Bury cardboard with these two hidden ingredients. Your roots will grow deeper than ever before. Have you ever done everything right in your garden, watered, fertilized, pruned, and still ended up with weak, lifeless plants? What if the problem isn't what's happening above the soil, but what's going wrong beneath it? Today on Soil and Crop Central, I'm going to show you a simple, science-backed method that completely transformed my garden. I combined cardboard with just two secret ingredients, and what happened to my plant roots shocked me. The hidden reason your plants are struggling. Let's be honest, most of us focus on the visible parts of gardening. We look at the leaves, the flowers, the fruit, but the real story of plant health begins underground, where the roots live and breathe. Shallow, compacted, or oxygen-starved soil is like putting your plants on a starvation diet. They can't reach nutrients, can't retain water properly, and end up constantly stressed. When I first started experimenting, my soil looked fine on the surface, but when I dug deeper, I found hard pan layers that roots could barely penetrate. I knew that unless I fixed the structure of the soil itself, no amount of fertilizer would truly help. That's when I discovered the power of cardboard, biochar, and cornmeal, a trio that doesn't just feed plants but rebuilds the entire underground ecosystem. Why cardboard is the perfect base? Forget the old notion that cardboard is only for weed suppression. In this method, plain corrugated cardboard acts as a foundation for soil transformation. The key is that it's carbon-rich and decomposes slowly, allowing earthworms and microbes to work it into the soil naturally. When placed at the base of your bed or planting area, cardboard regulates moisture, reduces surface evaporation, and gradually breaks down into humus. The cellulose fibers are irresistible to earthworms, which chew through and create intricate tunnels. These tunnels become natural pathways for air, water, and roots to move freely. To use it correctly, avoid any glossy or printed cardboard. Stick to uncoated brown types. Overlap each sheet by about 6 inches to block weeds, and then soak the cardboard thoroughly with at least 1 gallon of water per square yard until it's fully saturated. This step is non-negotiable because dry cardboard can repel water at first, slowing decomposition. The first secret ingredient, biochar. Next comes the real game changer, biochar. It looks like charcoal, but its purpose is completely different. Biochar is created through a process called pyrolysis, which leaves behind a porous carbon structure with countless microscopic cavities. Each one acts as a home for beneficial microbes, fungi, and bacteria that drive soil fertility. Think of biochar as a hotel for microbes and a sponge for nutrients. It absorbs and holds onto water, prevents nutrient leaching, and provides safe housing for billions of microorganisms that work symbiotically with your plant's roots. What makes it extraordinary is its longevity. It doesn't break down like compost does, so one application can improve your soil for years. However, biochar by itself can be too empty. It needs to be charged or inoculated with nutrients and microbes before use. That's where the second ingredient comes in. Ah, the second secret ingredient, cornmeal. Now it might sound too simple, but let me tell you, horticultural cornmeal is a real powerhouse when it comes to feeding soil life. It's not your typical plant food, it's more of a microbial fuel. You see, the carbohydrates in cornmeal act as a rich food source for beneficial fungi and bacteria. These little guys form symbiotic relationships with plant roots. They break down organic matter, release nutrients, and even suppress those pesky harmful soil pathogens. All right, now comes the exciting part. Combining these elements to build a living soil layer. First, start by laying your pre-soaked cardboard directly on the soil surface. If you're setting up a new garden bed, this can go right on top of grass or compacted soil. Once you've got it in place, use your hands or a trowel to create planting pockets through the cardboard wherever you want to position your plants. Into each pocket, add a generous scoop, about one cup, of your biochar cornmeal mixture. This is where the roots will grow and interact with the charged biochar and microbial life. 
If you're working in existing beds, just gently work the mixture into the top few inches of soil around your plants, making sure not to disturb their root systems. Over time, the cardboard breaks down, the biochar continues to store nutrients and moisture, and the cornmeal keeps feeding the microbial ecosystem. The result, my friends, is a thriving living soil that supports deep, vigorous root systems. What happened next honestly shocked me. Within just a few weeks of applying this system, I started to notice something unusual. My plants just stopped wilting during dry spells. The soil held onto moisture longer, and even the most demanding crops, like tomatoes and peppers, stood tall through the midday sun. But, you know, the real shock came when I examined the roots at the end of the season. Where I used the cardboard biochar cornmeal method, the roots were thick, white, and reached much deeper than before. They weren't stuck in the top few inches of soil anymore. They'd formed a dense network that went down into the lower layers, tapping into hidden reserves of water and nutrients. These deep, healthy roots translated into stronger, more productive plants. My tomato yield increased noticeably, and even ornamental plants like hydrangeas showed richer color and faster growth. More importantly, the soil itself became darker, crumbly, and alive with earthworms a clear sign of a balanced, healthy ecosystem. The science behind the transformation is, well, pretty fascinating. What's happening underground is nothing short of a natural engineering marvel. The decomposing cardboard creates these tiny microchannels, which let air and water move through more easily. The biochar fills those channels with microbial life, acting like a nutrient bank that constantly releases resources to the roots. Meanwhile, cornmeal keeps the biological cycle going by feeding the very microbes that make this system work. This synergy creates an environment where roots don't just grow, they really thrive. Deep roots mean stronger plants that can handle drought, nutrient ups and downs, and temperature swings. It's a self-sustaining feedback loop where biology, chemistry, and physics all work together in perfect harmony. The long-term benefits you'll notice are, honestly, pretty impressive. This isn't just a one-season trick. Each year, your soil gets better and better. The decomposed cardboard turns into organic matter that improves texture. The biochar stays in the soil, continuing to boost water retention and microbial activity. The overall structure of the soil becomes looser, richer, and more aerated. You'll find that your watering needs drop significantly, fertilizers become less necessary, and your garden's natural resilience just keeps increasing over time. Once you experience how effortlessly plants grow in this setup, you'll never want to go back to the old ways of constant fertilizing and soil turning. It's not just about growing plants, it's about building living soil that supports a thriving ecosystem for decades. If your plants have been struggling despite your best efforts, it's time to look deeper, literally. The cardboard biochar cornmeal method isn't just some gimmick. It's a proven, sustainable approach that revives the hidden world beneath your garden. It turns dead dirt into living earth. So, give it a try in your own garden and see what happens. Start small, watch the transformation, and then scale it up. You'll be amazed at just how much your plants will thank you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Soil & Crop Central, hit the bell icon, and share this with your fellow gardeners. Remember, true gardening success starts beneath the surface. Keep digging deeper, and keep growing stronger.